Hi, well, it's uh, the 14th of June 2011. Uh, as you can probably see, I'm here at Tip Institute. I just came in for uh, about an hour or so to relax and meet, grab a coffee, and uh, print off my results because I need them for, you know, for the powers that be. You know, they, they want to see my results, see what I'm going to be doing for the next while, so that's done. Just a, a gentle update. It's been a relaxing couple of weeks, but it's actually the, um, it's the, you know, it's, uh, it's been a busy month because all the birthdays of my kids are all, all for this last, these last four, four weeks for this week. But this Saturday is a main party for them, so we're going to have a bounce castle and all sorts of fun stuff. We were going to have a magician, but we just can't afford the magician now, which is unfortunate. But you know, it's, it's going to be a, a good day, so um, civil defense duties are picking up. I have a duty Thursday evening, a duty Friday evening, and a party on s Saturday and Father's Day Sunday. Um, I'm down for the tall ships race for all three days. I'm actually down for full days, so I'll be working. I, I volunteered to work from 8 in the morning till about 12 o'clock at night on the three days. Um, I want the experience and it's very big. But, you know, that's what we train for, that's what I've agreed to do. Um, it does unfortunately mean that I will not be able to take part in the, the freeze frame um, video that Brian Downing was to create is unfortunate but I am on, now on duty on that day and it's the one is probably if we do not if civil defense do not win the thing for oxygen then the torture space will be the biggest duty for this year and I'm gonna make the most of it okay because I'll be on first aid and crowd control which effectively means I will be constantly dealing with the crowds and because I'm an EFR now, I could be called in at any minute anyway. But that's what I'm training for, that's what I'm training to do. And it's going to be a great experience. Um, so, you know, things be, it is actually a quite weak. I've been ill for the past three weeks and now I'm feeling a bit better. But, you know, summer colds, you know, the hardest to get rid of apparently. I've had this one now for four weeks. I had it through civil defense camp. Um, you know, I'm now pretty much near the end of it. And feeling a lot stronger and able to get out and about a bit more. Just kind of forcing myself out the house now. Because you, you get too used to sitting around doing nothing. So I'm trying to force myself out. You know, it, I was going for 14 months solid with, when the education to get me to this point in time. And when you finish doing so much, you just kind of go, yeah, and you just kind of stop doing everything. So now I've got to try and pick up my feet and pick up my, you know, pick myself up and not allow myself to get as lazy as I have done. So anyway, I've got a busy few weeks ahead of me. I have to push myself a bit harder than I have over the last month. But, you know things are working out quite well. You know, my results for the exams here at Tip Institute have worked out quite well, so now my average is, is extremely high, excellent, and um, I'm well set for the, the, you know, the next challenge, the, you know, the coming semesters, so, so I'm excited and I'm relaxing and chilling out, and I think I've earned it after 14 months of hard study <laughs> and of course I'm not, gonna, not taking it easy because I'm taking on big I'm taking on big duties for civil defense but you know I had to try and enjoy my holidays but at the same time I've really got to try and keep in touch with everything I've done over the last 14 months because it's very easy to forget if you don't continue on your studies so right now I'm actually studying uh, medicine because I'm now in the EFR I want to advance so I'm actually you know that's a brief look there, so I'm, I'm just going through some um, medical stuff right now. You know, I am branching out on um, 
in similar in different directions. So I've got the information technology and communication technology with the um, Tip Institute, and I've also got the medical side with civil defence. Um, two directions I want to go, and I'm going to develop both of them. Now, pollen letters this year, but that's well. Here we go. And that's that's me now. I've changed my hair. Uh, yeah, there you go. That explains what that is. And just saying so you know, that my wife is it was my wife's idea. Uh, she figured it'd be a good way of actually getting of me um, relaxing, you know, laying back and stop being such a stick in the mud. So, you know. It definitely, it definitely one way of breaking the ice anyway. Anyway, so I'll talk to you again soon. Take care and um, thank you for listening.